Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson three, and chapter two, lesson four of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. Remember, we are combining these lessons. For lesson three, we are skipping activities one and two. For lesson four, we are skipping activity two. So let's go ahead and continue. So now that we've learned about more about where plants get food molecules, let's think about how what we have learned applies to the Costa Rican Rainforest Project area. So looking over here at our image, we have our Costa Rican Rainforest ecosystem. We have three-toed sloth, we have jaguars, soil, millipedes, and cercopia trees. So what you're going to do now is open to page 40 of your ecosystem restoration workbook, or you're going to turn to page four of your chapter two, lesson three dash four activity packet. You are going to review the directions, and as an ecologist, you're going to remember to use scientific language to record your ideas. You are going to write an explanation where food molecules for socopia trees come from using the image of the eco Costa Rican ecosystem. So go ahead, pause the video, and write your explanation. Now that you have written your explanation, let's continue. So we are going to continue to observe ecosystems. In this case, we will observe using our simulation. So, so far we have learned that animals use some food molecules to release energy. So I want you to answer this question. Do you think plants also use some food molecules for energy? To answer this question, you can use your chapter two, lesson three dash four activity packet, a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. Let's propose a claim. Some of us think that plants, like animals, use some food molecules to release energy. And some of us disagree. We can think about the evidence supporting the claim that plants use for energy. We'll use the sim to investigate whether plants use food molecules to release energy. You can see the video of the simulation, or you can log on to Amplify to complete the simulation yourself. To log on to the simulation yourself, you're going to log on to Amplify. You are going to click on Ecosystem Restoration Unit, and then you are going to click the orange box with the number one to access the simulation. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to click on the number one and wait for it to open. To investigate how plants release energy, I'm going to turn off the part that says Show Matter. I'm going to press play. I'm also going to move it up to times two so it goes a little bit faster. So we can see that the yellow circles are our energy. So right now we can notice that the leaves or the plants are absorbing the sun's energy. And then it's transferring either to the ground or to the rabbits. I also see some energy transferring to the rabbits as well as to the wolves. I can also see energy going into the mushrooms as animals and plants die or as it decomposes droppings. I also notice that each one of our organisms is keeping in some energy for it to use. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the simulation and go back to the presentation. So now that we've analyzed the simulation, this is our next question. What is the evidence to plants? Let's try that again. What is the evidence to support the claim that plants use some food molecules for energy or not? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson three four activity packet in a notebook. 
can think about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. One key concept that we have solidified during this time is that animals use some food molecules to release energy for movement and growth. So as we keep going, make sure you keep this key concept in mind.